Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to uh, recognize a great Dominican-American, a great Dominican, someone that uh, now will join the, the high-kicking Dominican dandy in Cooperstown, Juan Marichal. For over three decades, uh, Juan Marichal, who pitched for the uh, San Francisco Giants, uh, stood alone as the only Dominican uh, in the Hall of Fame. And, and who could have thought that uh, with the likes of the Alou brothers, the great Rico Cardi, the great Manny Mota, and so many others, there will be only one for 30 years. But he will no longer be alone because now he will be there with the great El Pedro El Grande. That's why they call him, Pedro El Grande, Pedro the Great. And who could forget, and it hurts me deeply to say, because I am a pinstripe guy, but who can forget the day he struck out 17 Yankees? <laughs> who can forget that, Pedro? But I'm also a liceista, and that's his team in winter baseball in the Dominican Republic where he did his own thing over there, tremendous. Uh, but we can never forget the day he struck out 17 Yankees and Pedro is a, a, major, a major impact on baseball and sports. I'm glad to say here today in Albany, Pedro, today, that today you are our daddy. <laughs> and so, uh, some of the things uh, that he's done. Uh, an eight-time eight All-Star player, All-Star game baseball player. Uh, obviously, a World Series champion, 2004. Who can forget that? This is very painful, Pedro, but I love you. <laughs> a three-time Cy Young Award winner, three times. The Triple Crown in pitching. For you to win the Triple Crown in pitching is accomplished only by those pitchers who lead the league in wins, strikeouts and earn runs. So three times, Pedro El Grande won the triple crown of pitching. pitching. And so he was also uh, many times uh, uh, an MVP. He won uh, an American League champion. And of course, for five years, five seasons, he won the ERA, the Earn Run Average Championship for uh, his league as well as uh, three times strikeout king. Now, Pedro is known for his splitter, his fastball, but if you got a little bit nutty with you, he would also pitch tight on you. And so Pedro is uh, a guy that was respected in the mound. Uh, you know, the great Juan Marichal and Sandy Koufax and Bob Gibson, they, they pitched with a high mound, and they were high-kicking pitchers. The mound was lowered. So it became more difficult for pitchers to dominate the game. But even with a lower mound, Pedro El Grande dominated baseball. And so we're happy to have him here celebrating Dominican Heritage Month. Tomorrow, uh, the 27th, is the anniversary of Dominican independence. Uh, Pedro is a national, a natural hero in the Dominican Republic. After he was uh, approved to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, thousands of people went to the streets to receive them, receive them at the airport. And a major concert with hundreds and thousands of people were there to share that special moment with him and his lovely wife, Carolina, who's here with us today as well. So we are happy to have you here. You are a special person anywhere in New York, are in Massachusetts. And uh, Mr. President, let me just finish by saying these words in Spanish, because I think that they are emblematic of the way we all feel today, those of us that had the privilege to be born in that small island called the Dominican Republic. Que linda en el tope está, Dominicana bandera. Quien te viera, quien te viera, más arriba, mucho más.